Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't like um, the ring light is making. I might just take my glasses off because the reflection in the ring light is um, causing a glare back to you guys. So we got a, quite a big haul here. We might break it up into two, but I have to get it done because my landlord's coming on Tuesday for an inspection and I want everything put away nice and neatly, not just piled up in a corner waiting to be videoed for YouTube. So we'll do Timu first because um, there's something in the Timu order that we're gonna need for the Amazon order. So we'll start with Timu first. Sorry, I'll take a hit. I can't see without my glasses either. So this is 10, I think they're headbands for the dolls. Yeah, they are. They're headbands for the dolls, or you could use them on your infant baby girl if you wanted to. But um, I bought these because I don't remember any prices. I ordered these like, back in December and I haven't had a chance to haul it yet. Um, but they weren't much. A little bit of glue on that one. So that must mean these bows are glued on, not sewed on. So hopefully their glue is not toxic to infants. But we got like three different yellow ones here. I ordered different colors. Here's a plastic for your kitty. And then orange. And then like a burnt orange. And then pink. And then some kind of darker pink. And then a brighter pink. And then a light pink. And then like an in-between between purple and pink. But I bought it as a sip so that I'd have the right color headband no matter what color dress um, the dolls are wearing and a lot of the baby clothes I have for the dolls are pinks so we got lots of pinks to choose from now the next thing I got is a bracelet I don't know what kind of stone this is I want to say tiger's eye I'm not gonna open this because I think I bought this for Justin but it's a tiger eye bracelet probably paid $1.99 for it the next thing I got are some bottle brushes, and there are, I'm going to say how many is in here, I want to say 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and there's all different size bottle brushes because I have some straws that are skinny, and then I got some other, like, Yeti straws that probably this size would fit into. And then these bigger, these big, big ones I could use to clean my bongs. Although they're kind of soft bristled, I would want something a little more stiff for cleaning uh, resin oil out of a bong. The next thing I got is a diamond painting. I've kind of pulled back on doing diamond paintings lately and just, I haven't had the energy to do them with as much work as I've been doing. I just got off 11 straight days of work. And now I'm off until tomorrow. So I'm using this time to get the house ready for my landlord's annual inspection. And here's the diamond painting. It looks like butterflies very cute let's make sure the the drills match so this diamond painting is ka324 and then the drills are ka324 so they match so if you ever want to try diamond painting just make sure your drills match This is something I could have used in the winter, but I never, um, had a chance to do this haul since I started that job in January, but this thing pops on the end somehow without hurting my hand. And then 
there's these scratchy things on there and it breaks up the ice on your windshield. I'm not sure what this side is supposed to do, but I know this side breaks up the ice on your windshield. Like it's like an ice scraper thingy. Something different that was not too big that I could keep in my car. I'll put it in there for next winter. We had a horrible winter here too. We had one storm, we had at least four feet of snow. I couldn't even get out of my driveway. I couldn't even jump the snow banks. That's how deep it was. So my boss was like, just stay home. So these are a set of pins. I don't know what that gold thing is on there, but this a couple pins to put in my doll's hair. I, I uh, kind of lean back on buying uh, any more dolls either because I have so many dolls, I don't know where to put them. So here's another diamond painting. And this one is a skull lady. Hopefully you guys can see it. She's a skull with purple hair. Char drills match. DZ082. Yeah. I've never ever had a problem with my drills not matching. And after having like bought them six months ago, they probably wouldn't have replaced them anyways. I really need to start doing my hauls right away. Next thing I got is a charger for my Apple Watch. But now I can't find my Apple Watch now that I got a charger. Typically. But I'm still using my Fitbit. for Grayson and you just go like this turn the little spinny thing at the bottom and then you put her in the water in the bathtub and her arms move he's obsessed with anything that like that so I don't know I think this is this is another beaded bracelet um it kind of looks fake to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to ask my friend Sky. But someone said that this Malish mite or whatever it's called is supposed to have dark bands in it, but they're not supposed to be black. So it might be like a fake stone from Fimo. I'll let you guys know in a future video if it's fake or not. Find lots of plastic to play with. And then I bought this because it has USB charging on it and C charging. Plus, I can plug in things. I guess it goes this way because the words are going this way. So, I'm excited to try that out because my the charging blocks I bought for the phones, they work perfect. So, would you get out of there? You want to be on video? Uh, you want YouTube? See how big you are now? Hmm? Oh my goodness, you're a big boy. Tell them I'm one years old and we didn't even do a video about it. That's how much mama's so, so, so busy, eh? Yeah. You like being on video? Okay, okay, he don't like to be held too long. He's very fussy. So the next thing I got, I really, really don't want to open this until Gigi comes over, but the only way for me to show you guys how it, how it, where, how, what it looks like is to open it. It doesn't say the flavor. It just says collect them all, strawberry, peach, and grape, but it doesn't say what flavor is in here. Um, I'm hoping there's a zipper seal on here so that when I open it, um, I can re-zip it up for him. 
Well, that didn't work. That wasn't a zipper seal. So I'm just gonna, oh my God, I can't even rip it. Okay, I got it. I'll just, oh, we got purple. Oh my God, and it smells so good. But it's stretch cotton. I assume that it shows on there that it's stretchy. I assume it's like a, a slime or some sort or I don't know, but I'll put it in a Ziploc bag when I'm done so it doesn't dry out on him. I don't find it's very, I don't find it that stretchy. I'm even scared to give this to him because he might, um, it kind of feels like, um, a stress ball a little bit when you go like this. But I'm scared that he's gonna eat it now. So, there it goes, there it's all stretched out now. And it really does feel like cotton or, or like a marshmallow or I don't know, uh, something fluffy anyways. I'm gonna stick it back in this bag for now. At least it's not sticky, because I didn't want some kind of slime that's going to stick to my couch. So I think as long as I tell him not to eat it, he'll listen. Cross our fingers. <laughs> so the next thing we got is Citrine Bracelet. And I think I bought this for Jenny. Because all these, um, all the people I bought these bracelets for, I don't work with them anymore. So I'll have to take a special trip up there and um, give, it, give them out to everyone. I forgot about this thing. It says pocket hug. And then on this side, it says, your sobriety is a big deal. I love you and proud of you. I don't know if you guys can read it or not. I feel like it, the light is just reflecting back on it. And then, what's this one say? Do, ho do no harm and take no shit. It's a pin for my pin collection. Then we got a pack of cat collars. There were six in a pack, but we opened one, I think. And then we still got five left because my cat's the, the collar makes them itchy. So he ends up shredding the collar after a while. keep hearing voices outside, but I don't know what it is. It's too early for the kids to be coming home from school. And then we got a little, a pack of like mixed stones. They all have holes in them too. So we can like make bracelets with these little chips or we'll find something to do with them. Our, us and our crafty selves. I don't remember what I wanted them for, but it'll probably come back to me. And then another pin it says, hi, how are you? Is that what it says? Yeah, hi, how are you? And it's a pin.
Once we finish this um, seam, we'll see how much time we used. And then another pin, it's a safety pin, and it says, you are safe with me. I don't like hearing voices outside, it's freaking me out. And then this is YYK Flame Water Drop. I'll have to go back and look in my orders, but I had two Timu accounts back then for the Fishland game. I kind of think that this is a UV activated one. We'll find out in a second if it is because we have a little UV lamp that can like be clipped onto the shelf. I don't like how loose that is. I'm going to have to tighten that up. I don't know how hard it is to tighten it up. Okay, it's tightened up now. Um, if we, we're gonna have to unplug the ring light to check it out. Mm, because the ring light is the only USB we have at the moment. So there's a little button on here in the UV and yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it, but when you put the UV on the stone, oh, sorry, you can see little orange flecks in it. So yeah, that's what the flame part means of it. But um, that's everything for the Timu order. Whoops. Oh, the whole extension cord went flying that way. So, how many minutes in are we? 17 minutes? Yeah, let's do the... I'm going to grab this bag right here. I'm going to plug the ring light back in. Because I'm scared the lighting is going to be all. Oh. <laughs> I'm sitting on the bag. I'm scared that the, the ring, the lighting will be Johnny. But, okay, this is more stuff that, but this came from the Dollar Ram. I'm not Timu. Um, oh no, some of this is Timu. So we got um, screen protectors for iPhone 13. I really don't want to open this. I don't have scissors to break the tape anyways. But I don't really want to open them because I don't want to ruin them before they go on someone's phone. The next thing I got is a pack of Sharpies. This is from Dollarama. And I did open them and take one out for work. Um... I kind of wish they were dark colors, not pastel. They don't write very well. Next thing I got is a pack of five headbands from the Dollarama. And I think I only paid a dollar fifty for those. Yeah, what's this? That was a phone case. There's hopefully in here somewhere. Oh no, I think it's on my phone. I'll show you this phone case. It's a girl rolling a blunt. I hate that um, reflection. And then I got these from Timu and they're for patching up screens. And there are, it doesn't say how many, but uh, oh yeah, 10 pieces in there. And then I got some gems for beading. They're hearts in the colors peach, pink, purple, and blue. And I only paid like probably two bucks for that. I didn't pay much. This is what I'm excited to do next. 
if I ever get the um, energy, energy, sorry, to do um, diamond paintings. But um, it's a mystery diamond painting. You don't know what it is until you put these things on. So the whole thing is white. You, there's no color at all until you put the beads on to know what it is gonna be. Um, it kind of, to me, I feel like it's gonna be a beach theme. Is there blues in here? Nope, there is no blues in here. I don't know. There's a lot of browns in here. Browns and peaches. But when you look at it, it kind of looks like the word summer down here. So I thought it was maybe a beach theme. Oh well, we'll have to see once we... That's one thing about um, the mystery ones. You don't know what they're going to be. And like... If it's a picture you're not interested in, like, say they sent me a picture of a dung beetle. I wouldn't want to do that one. I would probably wait and do it last when there's no other diamond paintings to do. But this, you can't tell what it's going to be until you start working on it. Is that everything? And then I got this bag from the Dollarama for five bucks. Had on some My Little Pony. You can zip this bag off the front if you want to. It's like a little pencil pouch, but I'm gonna start using that for work tomorrow. And then we got a little I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this. I'll probably give it to my brother because um I don't smoke flour anymore, but you put all the weed here and you put your, your like pre-roll filter here and then you just shove it all down. Can't get it down, use this. Probably give this to my brother because I don't smoke flour anymore. I only smoke the vape. I don't need this. I don't need any of that. Oh. Ball, but I don't know what it was. I don't think it was anything. And then I bought these scrapers to get some masking tape off my front door. Um, it didn't work. I put one in and I didn't expect there were going to be plastic blades when I bought it. I thought they would be metal blades. So I was disappointed in this purchase. And then what time is it now? 23 minutes. I think we should end the video here, but I'm gonna put this last Dollarama item over here because I wanna compare it to the kinda same item I bought from Amazon. So that's it for this video. I'll be back in a few minutes to start the Amazon video.